The year is 2022, and technology is booming faster than ever. After Sophia the robot came into existence, people were thrilled and eagerly wondered if there would ever be another human-like robot. Well, it just so seems that another robot will, in fact, soon make its way into the world. Presenting Tesla's very new humanoid robot. The world is expanding, and technological innovations and their usefulness in daily life have grown tremendously thanks to computers and the Internet's exploding power, capability, and ubiquity. And predictably, a man with an IQ of 150 could come up with something cool by combining his megamind with technological advancements. The new humanoid robot is just a teaser of that. Optimus, or Optimus Subprime, the humanoid robot, was teased last year at Musk's Tesla AI Day, which was held in August. Not only did he unveil its dojo supercomputer, but he also mentioned the arrival of Optimus during the event. However, many people didn't believe Tesla would make a human-like robot. When it was announced, some people even thought it was a curveball, as Tesla's artificial intelligence technology and Project Dojo supercomputer were only focused on enhancing the company's self-driving car capabilities as rapidly as possible. At AI Day, Musk claimed that the humanoid robot business would end up being bigger than Tesla's automobile business. I know, it sounds pretty crazy, right? At the shareholder meeting, he said, I suspect Optimus will be more valuable than the car long term. It will turn the whole notion of the economy on its head. According to Musk, these robots will handle the monotonous, repetitive activities people don't enjoy. Man, this makes me think how robots could make lazy people lazier. But aren't robots meant to serve the purpose of helping people out? Perhaps that's what Musk is trying to create. Well, hold your seatbelts, fellas, as this brand new robot is predicted to come to us in September 2022. The megamind behind Mars colonization even tweeted, Tesla AI Day pushed to September 30th, as we may have an Optimus prototype working by then. Tesla announced the original robot last year and plans to begin production by 2023. Since then, the company has been actively recruiting staff for the project. Tesla also disclosed that it would use its self-driving technology to give the robot the ability to comprehend its surroundings. However, a humanoid prototype will be out in about two months. And isn't that exciting? I'm sure you all have many questions, like how it will look, what features it offers, etc. Well, good thing because you're in the perfect place as we have the answers to all your questions. Let's begin with the appearance. According to current information, the Tesla bot will be 5 feet 8 inches tall, 1.7 meters, and weigh 125 pounds or 56.6 kilograms for your mad lads. Man, that's like the size of an average human on Earth. Tesla claims it will be made of lightweight materials, with human level hands, and two axis feet for balance. Tesla also said that the robot would mainly be used for non automotive robotic use with the help of dojo supercomputers that help Tesla vehicles move through roads and streets. When Elon Musk was questioned about the robot being so human-like in its appearance, he said, It makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. The robot's head will be equipped with the same autopilot cameras that are built into the Tesla vehicles. Its face will be a screen for useful information. According to the manufacturers, this human robot can deadlift 150 pounds, about 68 kilograms, carry a maximum of 45 pounds, that's about 20 kg, and move at a maximum speed of 5 miles per hour, which means 8.04 kilometers. That is low-key cool, not gonna lie. But well, it's not just that, you guys. 40 electromechanical actuators will control the robot's movement. This means there will be about 12 actuators in each of the robot's arms, hands, and legs, as well as two in the torso and two in the neck. Whoa, that's a lot. When it comes to intelligence, the robot will be outfitted with the Tesla FSD, for self-driving computer. Um, this keeps getting cooler, I suppose? After the prototype release in 2022, productions of the first version will be out in the market by 2023. While explaining the Optimus in a video, Musk said, I think, I think, I think Optimus will, will obviate what uh, it even means, what an economy even means. So uh, it'll be able to, you know, basically anything that, that uh, humans don't want to do, Optimus will do it. Um, and it's, uh, it's going to be an age of abundance. It's maybe hard to imagine it, but as you, as you see Optimus develop, um, and we're obviously going to make sure it's safe. Um, no Terminator stuff or that kind of thing. Um, but it's, it's really going to transform the, the world, uh, I think, to a degree even greater than the cars. As I mentioned earlier, the robot is supposed to help people do the things people dislike. This means AI will soon take over all the boring jobs. Musk even mentioned that the main objective was to create a machine that could reduce labor costs. 
He said, if you think about the economy, it is the foundation of the economy is labor. Capital equipment is distilled labor. So what happens if you don't actually have a labor shortage? I'm not even sure what an economy means at that point. That's what Optimus is about, so it's very important. Optimus Subprime does sound like it's going to be the next man's best friend, but is it really pocket friendly? Can everyone buy an Optimus? If you're thinking no, get your hopes up, because yes, it will be pocket friendly. Musk mentioned that the Optimus would be sold at a rate lower than that of a car. Though the cost will be high initially, after manufacturing comes up, the cost will be down eventually. In context, the Tesla CEO mentioned, and then we'll see rapid growth year over year of the usefulness of the humanoid robots and decrease cost and scaling up production. Although estimates place the robot's price at $10,000 or even higher, there may also be a one-time purchase fee followed by a monthly subscription. So what makes Optimus different from Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot? If you didn't know yet, Boston makes some of the most insane robots. Even Musk himself said that though Boston Dynamics has shown possibilities of creating a human-like robot, Tesla is trying to incorporate AI technologies to make the robot efficient for tasks. The things that are currently missing are enough intelligence for the robot to navigate the real world and do useful things without being explicitly instructed, Musk explained. He further said, those are two things that Tesla is very good at. And so, then basically we just need to design the specialized actuators and sensors that are needed for the humanoid robot. People have no idea this is going to be bigger than the car. If we compare Tesla's humanoid with that of Boston's, there are so many differences you would be able to find. For example, Tesla bot is 100% electromechanically actuated. This means there's complete regenerative stop motion. If Tesla's Optimus were to walk down the stairs, it would be able to convert the potential energy it gained into electricity and store it in its battery. Meanwhile, Boston's Atlas series bots are hydraulic, which means there would be numerous losses if they were to do the same activity as going down the stairs. Secondly, and one huge difference, is that Boston's Atlas comes with a battery pack with a huge 4.5 kilowatt lithium nickel cobalt battery and runs only for a few hours. On the other hand, the Tesla bot has the power to run all day with a fraction of that energy. So, in conclusion, Optimus can perform delicate tasks with perfect accuracy using very little energy, which is a great boon in my opinion. In Tesla's first quarter results call with CNBC, Musk said, I was surprised that people do not realize the magnitude of the Optimus robot program. Those who are insightful or who listen carefully will understand that Optimus ultimately will be worth more than the car business and worth more than full self-driving. That's my firm belief. So, what do you think, guys? What are your thoughts on Optimus Subprime, the humanoid robot? Let us know in the comments below. For more Tesla updates, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss out. We'll see you yet again in another brand new video. Until then, bye, folks.